Hey guys, how's it going? I'm GML Waffle, and today we're going to be starting a new series called Basic, and that goes over basic movement, basic functions, basic anything you need to know in order to get started making your very own Game Maker games. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is we are not going to be using any of the drag and drop functions. Everything we do will be done in code. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. You'll notice that I have a sprite already made for the player. It's 32 by 32, just a little, uh, you can call it a duck, I guess, aptly named SBR underscore player. I've created an object for it and assigned the sprite to it, named it OBJ player. And I've created a room and placed the object in there. All right, so we are ready to begin programming. Go into the object and we are going to cover basic movement today. So what you'll need to do is add an event, step, regular step, go to control, add your code. And the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna type is if keyboard check. And the first thing that we're gonna cover is using the keyboard keys such as W, A, S, or D, all right? So to do this, it's a little bit different. You're going to have to do keyboard check, ORD, and then within this, the key that you want. Then you have to open bracket, close bracket to complete the function. So if keyboard check, ORD, as in the words, the key, the word letters, right? W, so when we press W, what do we want to happen? This is what is going to go in here. So what we want to happen is we want the player to move up since we're pressing W. So you're gonna do Y minus equals five. So what this is gonna do is it's going to move our player along the Y axis up because remember in Game Maker and pretty much any other program that you're making games in, the Y axis will go negative up, positive down. X will still go positive right, negative left. So it's going up five pixels a frame. Right, so what we can do is we can actually just copy this, paste down, oh, missed that one, and change the values that we need. So W, A, S, and D. Right, so for A going left, we're gonna wanna make that X minus equals five. So pressing A moves us left five. S would be straight down, so Y needs to be plus equals five. D would be right, so we need to change both of these values to X plus equals five. So once you're done with this, you can go ahead and press the little check mark, hit okay, and then we can run our game just to see how things work. All right, so as you can see, we're moving up, down, left, right when we press the appropriate keys. All right, so say you want to use the arrow keys instead of the W, A, S, and D or any other keys that you like to use, right? So you're going to do if keyboard check and we'll go ahead and make our brackets VK underscore left, right? So that's how you do the arrow keys. VK left, VK underscore left, right, up, and down. Each one will work for the same function. And in here, left, you'll just do X minus equals five, just the same as you did with W, A, S, and D. And we'll just run this just to show you that, yes, it does go left when I press the left arrow key. There you go. I can't move up, down, left, or, well, up, down, or right because I didn't program them in, but I can go left. All right, so there you have it. That was the first part in our basic series. Uh, next time we will cover basic collision and go on from there making sort of a platform style game. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more GML tutorials. See ya.